Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer files to and from your hard drive. I have two files today that I like to get onto my hard drive. Uh, one of them is a picture, which you can see here, and I've saved that to my desktop. And I'm also going to want to write a text file and put that on my hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Word and choose a new document. And I'll just go ahead and type my, my file that I'd like to put on my hard drive. So here's my file. I'm going to go ahead and save it, file, save as, and I'm going to put it in my My Documents folder, and I'm going to say important is the name of the file. Let's go ahead and click Save. So I'm going to quit out of Microsoft Word, Apple Q. And now I'm going to go just check on the file and see that it is in my documents. So go ahead and click Finder, and up comes a list of all the folders in your computer. If you look on the right hand side, you're going to see the list of all of the main folders in your user folder. So you'll see desktop, documents, downloads, library, movies, music, etc. You can create new folders, so you may have additional folders. I'm going to click Documents, and I will see that Important is listed in the My Documents folder. Good. So go ahead and leave that open. And I already have my hard drive plugged in, so what I'm going to do now is open a new Finder window. So with my Finder window selected and open, which means that Finder should appear at the top left-hand corner, which means that you have Finder active. You click Apple N to create a new Finder window. And this just helps me visualize the idea of dragging from my computer to my hard drive. So on the right hand side, I'm going to have my My Documents folder open. On the left hand side, I'm going to navigate to my hard drive so that I can easily drag and drop between my computer and my hard drive. So first I'm going to drag the document that I just wrote from my My Documents folder into my Documents folder on, to, on my hard drive. So you can see here I have Fred, which is the name of my hard drive, selected under Devices, which means that Fred is going to be the destination that I can easily see here on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you see that I have Documents selected because Documents is where I saved my important file. So to do this, it's really easy. You select your important file, and you click and drag into the Documents folder. You see that when you hover over the documents, I haven't let go yet, it highlights and puts a white ring around the Documents folder, and showing you that that is where you're going to put the, full, the file when you let go. So go ahead and let go. And if I scroll down to I, there we go, there's the important file. So you notice that when you copy a file from your computer to your hard drive, the file itself is duplicated. So right now I have a copy here on my computer, and I have a copy here on my hard drive. So if you're looking to save space on your computer, you can delete the file from your computer and leave it on your hard drive. So if you ever need to see it again, you can just drag it from your hard drive to your computer. But in this case, I'm going to leave it on my computer, and if I ever need a backup copy, I'll always have that copy on my hard drive. Also note that the copy is not updated, so if you make changes on your computer copy, you'll need to re-drag it over to your hard drive and replace the old one. So once we've done that, we can now go ahead and do the picture folder. So I'm going to navigate back to my hard drive. See, I'm still selected on Fred. And this time I'm going to put my file in the pictures because that's what it is, a picture. So on the left-hand side, I have my hard drive and I see my destination folder. On the right-hand side, I need to find the file that I would like to drag over. So this time I've saved it on the desktop. So I'm going to click Desktop under Places and I see that the picture is right there, picture one. So I'm going to go ahead and click 
and drag into the pictures folder. Now you notice when I did that, I dragged into this empty region instead of dragging into the pictures onto the pictures folder itself. And the reason I did this was because I see that my pictures folder is open. And you can you know that because it's already selected. So everything here on the right hand side is the contents of the pictures. If I was to click on play, everything here on the right hand side is going to be contents in play folder. So let's go back to pictures. So you see here the only thing I have in this folder is picture one, which is what I just dragged from my computer. Notice again, this is my computer, this is my my desktop folder. This is my hard drive, this is my pictures folder on my hard drive. The picture exists in both places, so picture one here and picture one here. You've made a duplicate, you've not deleted it from your computer. So if I wanted to save space, I could easily drag this picture which is on my computer, my desktop, and I can just drag it into the trash. That way I can delete the file off my computer and save room if the file was large, knowing that I still have a copy on my hard drive. So what happens if I would like to do a little bit more filing? Let's say this is from last year. So I'd like to put this folder, put this file in a 2010 folder. To do this, I click on this little cog wheel arrow and I select new folder. This places a new folder in the location where you have already selected. So I'm in the pictures folder, so it's going to place a new folder in the pictures folder and I'm going to call this 2010. Let's say I made a mistake and I actually wanted to call it pictures 2010. To change the name of the folder, you click once and then you click again you have to be very slow. It's called a slow click. You click once to select, you click again to edit. So pictures 2010. To get my picture that I just dragged from my computer into the folder, I click, select it, and drag. Notice when I did that, that the folder itself was highlighted before I dro dropped the file which meant that I knew exactly where my picture was getting placed, so watch again. I can also drag it up a folder, so let's say I no longer wanted it in my Pictures 2010 folder, I click and I drag up. So now it's just in Pictures, not Pictures 2010. So again, watch. Select once, drag, I hover, Pictures 2010 turns blue, which means that if I let go right now, the file will be placed in Pictures 2010. So go ahead and drop, and there you go. So that's the basic process for dragging files onto your computer and creating a new file or organizational system on your hard drive. I always recommend that you create new folders so that your files are as organized as possible and so that if you ever need to find something quickly, you'll know, okay, it's in the pictures and it was from 2010, so I know that it's going to be in this folder, and there it is. So now I'm going to do the reverse. What happens if there's a movie I'd like to watch on my hard drive? You could play the movie straight off your hard drive, which means you navigate to your movies folder, you find the movie you'd like to watch, and you simply double-click the movie. But what you could also do, and what I suggest, is dragging the movie to your computer so that you don't have to leave your hard drive hooked up. This will not only allow your hard drive to not be on all the time, but it also reduces the chance that you might knock over your hard drive or you spill water on your hard drive or something. I always like to keep it very separate and safe from my computer when I'm not using it. So what I'll do is actually just drag the movie onto my computer. Where you place the movie is all up to you. It's completely up to you. You could either drag it straight from your hard drive. See, I'm in Fred, which is my hard drive name, Movies, and then I've chosen the movie I'd like to watch. I can either drag it into my desktop. I could drag it into my Movies. You could put it in your music folder, whatever makes more sense to you. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop. So I could just click and I can just drag right into desktop. When I do this, 
See how desktop is selected blue? That means that when I drop the file, it will end up on my desktop. So it goes ahead and copies. So notice this desktop representation here, I've selected desktop under places and Aladdin is showing up here. Aladdin also shows up on my physical desktop because really this desktop is the same as this desktop. And I could have easily just dragged Aladdin straight to here instead of dragging Aladdin to my finder window. It's the choice is yours. But if I had wanted to put Aladdin in movies, I can still move it. So I click and I drag into movies. So now Aladdin appears in my, under my movies. But because I'd rather just have it on my desktop for easy access, I'll drag it back to my desktop. So here we go. Notice again, when you drag something to and from your hard drive, it makes a duplicate copy. It does not delete. So there's still an Aladdin on your hard drive, and there's now an Aladdin on your computer, on your desktop. So what you can do is go ahead and eject your hard drive. So always click this little arrow to eject safely your hard drive. Otherwise, you might splice files, you might not fully copy something over, and cause issues with your hard drive. So click the eject button. And when your hard drive disappears underneath the devices, you know that it is safe to remove it from your computer. I can go ahead and click to close the finder window and then click to close this finder window. So now here's the movie I'd like to watch. I can double click and .avi is a movie, fi uh, movie file extension. So I go ahead and control click, open with VLC. I find that QuickTime Player often has a lot of issues playing .avi files, so I go ahead and just use VLC, which is a universal video player. I highly recommend it. Click VLC, and here is your movie. So I'm going to quit out of the movie, Apple Q. Once I'm done watching the movie, I want to get it off my computer because, for example, this file is almost a gig. It's about three quarters of a gig. So that's quite a bit of space on your computer and if you're not watching your movie there's no point in having the file on your computer anymore. So I can go ahead and drag this folder just into the trash. Now the reason I can do that without feeling like I've lost a file is because I know that when I transferred a file from my hard drive to my computer it duplicates. So I know that I still have the file on my hard drive. And if we want to check that, I'll plug my hard drive back in. I open up my finder window. I wait for the hard drive to boot up. If the hard drive does not appear under devices, make sure that it is on. A lot of hard drives have an on off button. And if you don't, if you can put your hand on the hard drive and you don't feel a motor running, then it means it's off. So you need to turn it on in order for it to appear. So I click my hard drive name, I click movies, and even though I just deleted the Aladdin movie off my desktop, it's still here on my hard drive. So as long as you don't delete anything off your hard drive, you'll still have it no matter what happens. Go ahead and eject your hard drive, and there you go.